What's going on guys, Fibarella here, bringing you some more Crisis 3 beta gameplay, and of course, playing some Crash Site on Museum, and related to that, it's halfway through the gameplay, and you're probably wondering, because, like, you know, normally I start my videos from the very beginning of the gameplay, you're probably wondering why suddenly it's halfway through. Well, basically what happened is what always happens in life, and it's a damn shame, and it's really, really annoying, and I don't know what causes it. I swear to some mysterious force in the universe that just doesn't want us to show off our finest moments. But basically what had happened as I woke up, got on with my day, and I was like, you know what? I feel playing some Crisis 3 today. So I started it up, got into a match. This is the very first game I started of the day, and I was just devastating the other team. It was retarded. I had 10 kills and 0 deaths within the first two minutes of the game, and it was absolutely retarded. Thank God there's a match highlights thing at the end of the game, so you can see some of the kills I got earlier on in the match, but unfortunately, you just, you missed all the gameplay. Like, I hate when that happens. You're like, you're playing, and you're like, shit, man, I should be recording this right now. And you're like, nah, I'm not gonna start it, whatever. I'm already halfway through the game. And then you do even more amazing, you're like, okay, no, fuck this. I'm, I'm gonna start up my recording program and start recording some of it. And then everything that happens after that just doesn't live up to what was beforehand. It just, it's like... God, it's so annoying. I don't know what causes it. Like I said, there's some mysterious force in the universe that just that just wants to impair me from showing off my best moments. It really is a damn shame. This is why I like games that have theater mode. But anyway, got some various topics for you today. And those relate to what actually was brought up in Level Cap's video. So for those of you that actually watch his videos, if you do, one thing I noticed he mentioned in his impressions video of Crisis 3 was actual mouse acceleration, which I didn't even tend to notice right away. Like, as soon as he brought it up, I was like, wait a minute. It's true. There is mouse acceleration that for some reason you cannot turn off. And I thought it was the weirdest thing ever, and I actually began to notice it once he mentioned it in his video. I was kind of just like, like, one thing I was aware of, which was the aim sensitivity difference between ADS, when you're aiming down sights and normally running around. For some reason, when you'd aim down sights, the sensitivity would cr increase, which is completely opposite of what it's traditionally supposed to do. If anything, it decreases. That way you have a little bit more precision, more accuracy, with a slower res uh, slower sensitivity. For some reason in this, it's like, no, we're going to have it stupidly fast, completely imbalanced, completely incoherent, and that's what I mean. Like, it's not fluid, even when getting in vehicles, which I was mentioning in my last video, it was really stupid how the sensitivity would change so drastically, and that's something they really need to fix because people that are coming in from like games like Battlefield 3, or Call of Duty, or you know, all the actual other good shooters, other than Call of Duty obviously, I'm talking that, anyway, you know, coming in from shooters like that, you're going to be so used to the actual same sensitivity that's fluid across all platforms, people tend to try to get the same feeling of sensitivity in every game they play. So, if I'm playing Battlefield 3, I do my best to make it feel the similar to games like Blacklight Retribution, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Every shooter I play, I try to make it feel exactly the same. Now, I managed to get it as close as I can with Crisis. That's why I'm still able to dish out a lot of pain. But one thing I actually did notice is that mouse acceleration is actually there and there's nothing you can really do about it until I watched his latest video, which was uploaded today at some point, I don't know if it was a few hours ago or whatever, or 12 hours ago, I don't remember exactly when it was, but basically he has in his description that you can actually create a configuration file, put it in the game directory, and it'll basically remove all mouse acceleration, not 100%, but it'll definitely improve it significantly, and after I went into a game like this, I was playing it, this is when I had mouse acceleration, so although I'm able to be really accurate and still kill people quite effectively, with mouse acceleration, without it, I'm even deadlier. It's actually ridiculous how much I noticed that it's just it improved everything way more. It's more consistent when you're moving your mouse over the mousing surface. Makes it a lot easier to actually acquire a target and stay on target. And it's really, really great. Something else that you're going to want to probably do is if you're playing Crisis 3, go, if you have an NVIDIA card, I have an NVIDIA card, I have a GTX 560 Ti. And what I did is I checked the latest NVIDIA drivers that they had. They have a beta driver right now. I think it's like 313 point something. I can actually check that right now. Yeah, 313.96. You download that and increases your performance in Crisis 3 by a pretty significant amount. I got 15 to 20 frame boost when I updated my drivers to the beta drivers. So that's a huge difference for me. I mean, I was playing at like 50 to 60 frames per second and then suddenly I'm playing at 70 to 80 to 100 to 120 frames. It's, it, it fluctuates depending on the environment or where you are on the map, how much shit's going on, your, like, you know, what's happening on screen at once. But basically, adjusting 
or getting the latest beta drivers will increase it. It also fixed the V-Sync problem I've been having. The thing I was mentioning how you can actually put V-Sync on, but for some reason it would cap it at 30 frames per second, that's no longer apparent. That's completely resolved because of a driver. So, and I know someone did leave a comment saying that you can use adaptive V-Sync. It does work on GTX 560 cards. I use it on various games that have that issue. I actually did that for Crisis 3 in the meantime, but I tend to prefer to use the actual V-Sync supported with the actual game and because I find it just helps it a lot better or it seems to be a lot simpler instead of going into the control panel having to tweak files and every time you update your drivers you have to retweak them because I do I always do clean installations when I do driver installations so it's fixed it's better I don't I still don't tend to turn VSync on because I notice that it doesn't have the best performance with this game VSync really degrades it to some degree like you'll be playing at 60 frames per second and suddenly it drops to 40 and I know adaptive VSync is supposed to resolve that issue but there still is some screen tearing with adaptive VSync so you might as well just not have VSync period and then I get like a glorious 120 frames per second at times which is actually great even though you can't really see it because I'm on a 60 hertz TV it is a lot better than having 60 frames and then it drops significantly lower after that when the frames dip so those are some things you're going to want to do to improve your experience with this game it really improved my experience and I've been having a lot more fun with this game in fact Crisis 3 is a game I am really looking forward to I actually loved Crisis 2 now, I didn't actually buy the game, and well, not right away, but I did buy it eventually, but I didn't actually play it, like, online extensively and dedicated like I was, because on the PC version, it uses some shitty online component, I think it's Game for Windows Live, I don't even remember, I don't think it is, actually. It uses their Crytek, yeah, it uses their Crytek website, which I, my Crisis account, which I thought was really fucking stupid, I hated that, and it was really annoying. This actually uses Origin, so it's a little bit simpler, it's kind of like Steam, it makes it a lot more fun. And it, the game is just a huge improvement over that, and I actually, like, love it. I'm actually loving this game right now to death. I can't wait to actually see this in release. I actually remember making raps for Crisis 2 back in the day, which was actually pretty successful. You guys can probably go look at that. It was one of my most, it was actually probably my most popular rap I made, and a lot of people really liked it. It was kind of funny, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate the video, comment the video, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Take care, guys.